Hi. In this video we are going to see how to change the color of a mesh at runtime, through C++ script. The result will look like this. First, let's create a C++ class, based on the actor class. I will call it colored cube. Once the code is compiled, we can create a blueprint class, based on the C++ class. I will call it colored cube BP. In the blueprint we can now add the static mesh. I chose a cube. Now, we need to create the material that the mesh will use. So let's create this material in the content browser. I will call it colors. In the material, we will add two vector parameters. One for each color. I will call them color1 and color2. For example, color1 will be blue, and color2 will be magenta. In order to mix the colors, we need to add a linear interpolation node. We can drag the output channel of each color to the input channels A and B of the linear interpolation node. Then we can drag the output channel of the linear interpolation node to the base color channel of the material. In order to control the proportion of each color in the final color, we will use the alpha channel of the linear interpolation node. For that, we need to add a scalar parameter that we will link to the alpha channel of the linear interpolation node. I will call this scalar parameter blend. I will access this scalar parameter from the C++ code. As you can see, if we change the default value of the scalar parameter in the details panel, it will change the color of the material. Now, in the color cube blueprint, we will apply the colors material to the cube static mesh. If we drag the color cube blueprint in the world, we only have a blue cube for now. We will change that soon. In the colored cube.h file, we define a uMaterial instance dynamic. I will call it dynamic material. Then everything happens in the colored cube.cpp file. Let's start by including everything we need. We include the material instance dynamic, the material interface, and the static mesh component. We can have access to the cube static mesh of the blueprint with the find component by class method. We need to specify the class we are looking for, the use static mesh component class, between the chevrons. Now that we have access to the cube static mesh, we can have access to its material by the getMaterial method. We can finally create the dynamic material based on the cube material. And we replace the cube material by the newly created dynamic material instance with the setMaterial method. Now that our static mesh has a dynamic material, we can change the color at runtime anytime we want. We can change it over time or we can change it after a specific event. In this case, I will change the color cyclically. For that I use a cosine function. And finally, to change the color of the material, we need to call the setScalarParameterValue method. This method will need the name of the parameter we want to change, in our case it is blend, and the new value of this parameter. Now let's compile and run the code. And here it is. The color of the cube static mesh goes from blue to magenta over time. 